Okay, we're starting this video off with the greatest windshield wiper I have ever seen. That is Tupac, ladies and gentlemen. His arm. His arm is on the on the wiper part. So whenever it goes off, it's like he's waving to you. Oh my oh, gosh. Please. Let it rain. I always knew Tupac didn't actually die. There you go, he's on the back of someone's he sure did. car there. And we have finally made it to our destination, the Caribe Royale. I'm assuming that's how it's pronounced. A really fancy hotel over here in Kissimmee, Florida. Just a stone's throw away from Disney World. And fun fact, I uh, I've went pool hopping here at least once before back in my pool hopping days uh, Yeah, but anyway, we're not here to pool hop or at least I don't think so we're gonna we're gonna be doing something else today Hello everyone welcome and welcome back as you can see we are here. Wow. It's really quiet in here I It's think it'd too be so quiet in here. I didn't think it'd be so quiet in are here. Are we in the right place? Anyway, we may not be the whole convention is hearing my intro right now. Anyway, so we are here in Kissimmee, Florida for a Another convention and no, it's not the women in government convention. Although that sounds very interesting as well We are here for free play like Florida video as games. in the video games This is Florida's largest arcade convention an expo sort of thing. It's gonna to be tons of different kinds of video games to be able to play, pinball, arcade games, console games, all kinds of stuff, as well as vendors and food and all of that good stuff. So I am really, really excited about it. I'm gonna read the description on here for you all. Free Play Florida is a three-day family-friendly event celebrating electronic gaming, open to everyone, whether you're a collector, enthusiast, or just really like playing games. I like so, playing games. There you go. That's all you can play. It is, yep. So you do have to pay the one price ticket price for whatever day you're coming out here to enjoy it, but otherwise all of the games are free. So unlimited. Just have to wait in line cool. if there is one. Yeah. So anyway, we are going to find our way to the convention now because we're not going to the... We could stop by here first. It does sound very it sounds interesting. Educational. It does sound very educational, but we're not yeah. trying to get too educational today. We're trying to play some video games. So, without further ado, let's go. Let's go. Okay, so, as you can see, we are not inside of the convention, or spoiler alert, we're not inside of the convention. Um, in fact, I'm filming on my phone because it fell. My camera fell on the floor earlier and um, now it won't turn on. So um, yeah, basically I am out of a camera right now and um, Jay and I just spent some time Googling Best Buys to see if by chance there's any of these types of cameras around this area and lo and behold, at least for right now, there is one um, here in Kissimmee, if you can believe it, because these things are very hard to come by and very rarely in the store. So whenever this happens to your favorite creator, just know that we are like, ha oh, ha, about to have a heart attack um, because it's very hard to get a camera like right away, a replacement camera right away. Um, and we have videos to make and um, a channel to run and a business to run and, and all of that stuff. So anyway, long story short, um, Jay went back into the convention. I insisted he go back into the convention while I run out and get the camera. Um, so hopefully it won't take me too long. I'll probably be gone maybe an hour, maybe an hour and a half. So I'm going to be missing out a lot on the convention, but, um, I have to get this done, otherwise I'm not gonna have a camera for a really, really long time and I don't really wanna use my phone anymore. So, very stressful start to the evening, but we are soldiering onward and I'm just lucky that there is, again, at least for now, please still be there, a camera in this area that I can go pick up. So, that's what I'm gonna go do now. Olive Garden, when you're here, you probably just dropped your very expensive camera and you need to go eat a whole thing of breadsticks and eat your feelings, essentially. Uh, 
it's all right. We're not here for Olive Garden. Not today. We're going right behind me over here into the Best Buy. Okay, everyone, keep your fingers crossed. Okay, and we have a successful trip to Best Buy that took a lot longer than I thought it would, but we walked out with the camera in hand, thankfully. Okay, and here she blows my new camera. It's the second camera for the channel, or the second Canon, I should say, for the channel. Oh, and I, I haven't even had time to, like, process what just happened. The fact that my very first camera on this channel died, uh, and I now have to replace it. But, you know, honestly, this is part of the whole thing. The, the, the whole uh, shebang is having to replace your cameras very, very, very often, especially in this line of work when you know you're traveling all over the place you're you're doing all this stuff you're always on the go you're can't you're always bound to drop your camera and uh, need to get it replaced often so there we go and ultimately i'm lucky that uh nobody here in the Kissimmee area decided to last minute become a vlogger because this was literally <laughs> The last one here at uh, here at, at Best Buy. I had to get the whole creator kit uh, for this camera. So I have like the gimbal and um, a memory card and an extra battery and all of that stuff, which is never a bad thing to have. Um, but yeah, that was this was basically my only option. These cameras are in very very high demand. A lot of your favorite creators more than likely use this camera. So <laughs> I'm lucky that I that I was able to to get it here today. So yippee! Okay, let's go back to the convention now. And look at that! It works and everything. Thank goodness. Okay, switching back to camera footage now. All right, just parked back at the convention center, and now we're gonna head inside and enjoy free play Florida but I just wanted to take a minute to say um everything's okay <laughs> I'm okay <laughs> uh this is just so stressful and so annoying and obviously the last thing that anybody needs but um you know I'm very very grateful to be in the position that I am um in general um you know where my life is right now i'm i'm very happy and, and doing the things that i want to do and, and all of that good stuff but um i'm very grateful that uh there was a camera this camera the camera that i need at a best buy right down the road from here um which is a very rare thing and um i'm very grateful that um i have a credit card that i can put said camera on um, I don't necessarily, you know, have $800 to th just throw around, but, um, this is my channel. It's my business. This is, this is what I want to do. So I, I have no choice. I, I have to spend the money to get the tools that I need to do my job. Um, and I'm very grateful to all of you out there as well. Um, especially my coffee buddies and everybody who has uh, supported my channel through the Buy Me A Coffee app that I have, which um, if you're new here, if you don't know, I have a crowdfunding uh, thing, website, it's called Buy Me A Coffee. That's why every now and then I do those like random coffee shout outs. That's my crowdfunding website. And um, I use that money to go directly back into my channel. Um, I've used it to buy my first camera. I've used it to buy my GoPro and, and tons of other things um, that has gone directly back into this channel. So I'm I'm hoping that I have a, a good amount of funds in there right now so I can fund this camera here that I got here. Um, and that's not a plea for people out there to go, you know, support the channel or anything. It's 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 not like that. I'm just simply saying this is the reality of it all. Um, and ultimately I'm, I'm really glad that I can at least be in a position where, you know, if I have to, it's on my credit card and that is what it is. But, um, I'm lucky to be able to even have the ability to buy this camera and to do what I do. 
And um, I just wanted to share all of this with you because it's such a crappy situation, obviously, but again, like all of your favorite creators out there, they've had to deal with the same thing several times over. Um, and it's always very stressful and heartbreaking and, and not a fun situation for anybody. Um, but, you know, for me, ultimately, I'm, I'm glad that I can at least uh, solve the, the problem. So, um, yeah, anyway, just wanted to throw that out there. And uh, for now, we're going to get back in there and get the job done, as I said. And I say job, I don't mean that in a derogatory way. I just mean that I, I take what I do here very seriously and I do consider it my job. But it's also obviously a ton of fun and I can't wait to get in there. I know um, at least some of our friends are going to be in there as well. So I'm looking forward to that. And um, yeah, okay, let's go. All right, and we have made it inside of the convention. So this is what we are dealing with. Adam the Woo, Champa J, Greg's Game Room, the brand new camera, and Jacob the Carpet Bagger as well. So there you go, inside of Free Pay of Florida. Here we are. Here we are. So what is this that I hear that you're now, what, $200 in the hole? How much more? Okay, so I bet the King of Kong, Billy Mitchell, uh, I challenged him to a game, and he uh, whispered in my ear that it would be a point, a pity a point. He got up to about 1,000, 115,000 points. So uh -huh. $115 I beg for mercy, and the game stopped. And uh, yeah, so we owe him like almost 200 dollars Oh my gosh. Yeah. This is what happens when I leave. This is what happens. Never leave. It's not a good night. Got it. No, it is not. We are very much in the hole now. Okay. <laughs> have some famous people over here as well, and I actually just met a few of them off camera here. Warren Davis, the creator of a little game you may have heard have, you may have heard of, Qbert. That's pretty darn cool. Also, Tim Kitz Kitzgro. Sorry, I butchered that. I'm sure I did. Uh, but he's the voice of NBA Jam as well as a couple of other video games too. Very cool. Apart from the arcade games and the pinball machines, there's also some console games over here as well. Looks like some PlayStation and Xbox and more Xbox and probably more PlayStation as well. Pretty cool. We have rows and rows of your classic arcade games as well. Of course, we got Galaga, we got this one here, oh, Centipede, Pac-Man, Mrs. Pac-Man, and check out how old, how vintage some of these games are too. It's very cool. I like that there's like dust on them. It's pretty awesome. They've definitely, these games have definitely seen some, some action here. Personally, I've never been good at Pac-Man, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try and embarrass myself on camera. Or, I mean, more so than I, you know, already have. Now my pal Greg from Greg's Game Room, oh gosh, is an expert at Pac-Man. So, we're not even gonna be on his level, but that's okay. We can try. Also, one of like the most stressful games ever for me. Yep. Blah, blah. Oh, no. I tried. It's okay. And also lots of pinball games as well. Now pinball I can do at least slightly better at that. Oh, it's a Indianapolis 500 one. Yeah. That should be right up your alley, right? Oh yeah. I can't wait to take you to the Indianapolis 500, side note. Yeah, we'll have to do that sometime. This is a really cool pinball machine over here. It's called Outer Space. This one looks very, very vintage. I like all of the colors on it. And check out the board here. That's pretty cool. I like this one. Okay, this one may be my favorite. Okay, we're gonna give the Simpsons pinball party a shot here. By the way, it's for, it's for sale. sale. It's only $7,600, which I feel like is not a bad price for a whole pinball 
machine. Okay, we're gonna give this a shot. What do you make the Oh, start. All right. Okay. Start's always a good way to start. Not off to the start, it immediately went down. E.T.'s 40th birthday, he's dressed as He-Man as well, right? That's He-Man. Masters of the Universe, that's He-Man. Nice, okay, we're gonna go inside of here, and uh, looks like there's a there's a little a soiree going on in there for E.T. And what's a birthday party without the party hat? You gotta get the party hat in here. It's E.T.'s birthday after all. You gonna get a party hat? I don't know, oh, I, I might as well, right? Yeah, you should. It's for his birthday party and check it out they got little cupcakes in here special cookies oh his little potted plant of course look at those read that wreath the whole Reese's cake over there as well by the way the ET party is for the VIPs so we are we're kind of crashing it I'm not gonna lie don't do this kids if you're coming here to visit this is for VIPs and ET and maybe Elliot only. Oh, look at the speaking spell. He's got a speaking spell. And check it out, they even have E.T. the game here. Oh, that is pretty special and adorable. And look at that, you brought a gift for E.T. Yeah. We brought a gift for E.T. Yeah, that, that's actually for our good uh -huh. pal, Splore and Ryan, who is unfortunately no. okay. not, uh, not feeling very well right now so he's not here today so hopefully he feels better soon Splore and Ryan the man who saved our lives we got, we got birthday, him a birthday yeah. present we promise we won't give it to ET after all maybe, maybe. well we'll see no, no, we're getting, we're getting. happy birthday to you happy birthday ET happy birthday Look at that, E.T. has a birthday card. Of course he does, and everybody's signing it. Tampa J putting his signature on there now, and then I'm gonna sign it next. All right, there we go. Tampa J and Chris the girl. We did it, happy birthday, E.T. So like, I like that someone puts a hope to meet you someday. That's that's good. It's good, you keep reaching for that dream. Oh no, Greg has E.T. Now Jay has E.T. Alright, hey, this is cute. Can we keep him? Yeah, it's adorable. Alright, back inside of the main game room now. Check out this mold matic over here. Actually, there's a few mold matics This one yeah, is a Disneyland one. Look how vintage that is. That's amazing. I probably was at Disneyland. It smells amazing too. And I gotta admit, I am not quite sure what exactly is um, molding out of this mold matic Kind of looks like some kind of gates to something. I, I don't know. Is that Notre Dame? I, I have no idea. It does smell really good though. This one's really cool as well. It's a Sinclair, the uh, gas station Sinclair mold matic Dinosaur souvenir. 25 cents. Made of Sinclair's Dinofin plastic. That is amazing. Here's the little guy. A little dino there that you can get again. It smells amazing. Of course, I gotta shout out my good pal Scrap the Catwalk crew is here at Free Play Florida. So if you're coming out here, make sure you check out her booth as always. The cutest stuff over here. Go oh, and check out the latest awesome shirt here. Bleach shirt, foolish, foolish mortal. So a, I have mansion. some more haunted mansion. Uh huh. But they're so in detail. It's taking me forever. Oh yeah. Forever. Oh well, that's cool. That means they're gonna be awesome. Yeah. And I have to cut them out. Oh my gosh. And my cricket doesn't like me. Yeah. <laughs> or my well, I'm excited to see them. I can't wait. Oh, that's adorable. I love it. And it is a good seller too. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Good. Also, noticing the, the bags. I love my bag, by the way. I've been using it a lot. Um, yeah, I like how it's like nice and soft. It's big. I girl who one last year. Uh -huh. and she's like, and she's wearing it. Yeah. So this is my go-to bag. Aw, yeah. No, it's a good, it's a good bag. Good, solid it should, bag. It should hold up to 60 Star 
first. Oh, like oh wow, yeah. nice. You're going down another aisle of pinball machines over here. I've been told there's a few more Simpsons ones. Yep, Simpsons. Oh no, this one's out of order. Sad face. Got these tiny little tabletop games over here. The Egret 2. I know there are plenty of you who know exactly what this little thing is. It is adorable. A tabletop game center has 40 games pre-installed. Okay, so we've got the game here and we're gonna give it a shot. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just pressing buttons as many do while they're playing games. Push button. That's what I'm trying to do. I don't know what I'm doing. And I don't know what the buttons are. Oh goodness. Chris is having better luck down there. Uh oh, I can jump. Okay, that's good. That's always helpful. Oh, I missed the ice cream. Dang it. Oh yay! Cherries, that's better for you anyway. Alright, I think I'm winning. Oh, she's winning. This looks fun. Yeah. On to the next level, that's the best I've ever done on any game ever. Here you so, go, check it out Taito Tabletop Game Center. All right, this is fun. So, really like all of these uh, facades that they have out here. Like, this one's called Bit Fighter, and it has like all of these trash cans and like I don't know, traffic cones over in here. And they've got some Street Fighter games on the inside. Oh, and a, and a crosswalk sign as well. These pinball machines over here are apparently all custom made. Oh, made. So there's an elf one over here, an E.T. one over here. Happy birthday again, E.T. That was a pleasure celebrating that with you. And a Dragon Ball Z one over here as well. So we celebrated his birthday, so it's only fitting that we play his pinball game. Right. Alright, here we go. Let's go. E.T. Alright. Okay, off to a great start. <laughs> That's alright. Phone home one more time. You did better than I did. <laughs> Happy birthday, E.T. E.T. phone ho. It's because I didn't give you a gift. It's because we didn't bring him a gift. It's because we didn't give Spore and Ryan his gift. I think that's why. Yeah. In the back here, the pre-war playground. Flipperless machines. There's a bunch of old pinball machines back in here. I guess, uh, I guess from the 30s. So we're going to go... Go we'll check that out now. It's a whole like almost kind of museum sort of thing over here. These pinballs are 80 to 85 years old. They are not toys. Please enjoy playing them as much as you want, but please have respect for the machines and their owner and do not abuse the machines. Good advice, not just for these ones here, but uh, for any pinball machine. So this photo here shows all of the pinball machines being destroyed during the Prohibition era. And um, you were saying that... I guess I, if it was inside a bar, anything to do with it. Wow, yeah. that's sad. And gambling, it looks like they Yeah, used to okay, yeah, that yeah. makes sense. We got some baffle ball over here. That looks like fun. I don't know. I wonder how you... Oh, the ball is already in there. Okay. I'm trying to be careful with it. How do you... Oh, they're flipperless. That's right. Jesse would just try to like pull it back in a strategic way to like, oh, to like try to get it. Oh, I think oh, wow, I got it. Did I really just do that? You just won. Right off the bat. You won the raffle prize. She won, everyone. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah. Three, three balls in a, in a row on the ET game. Straight down the middle. No chance of me even getting them anywhere. Good job. This game, second try, it goes right where the ball is supposed to go. Gotta have some kind of luck tonight. Truly. I mean, I don't win anything and nothing happens. 
You win me. This ball is you win me, man. in here. But uh well, there you go. Yay! Yeah, where's the prize? Go me. Yeah, after kind of perusing all of the vintage pinball machines here, I can definitely see why or how they could be used for like gambling purposes and whatnot. So I guess that's why it would have been destroyed in the Prohibition era. I could only assume. These are really, really cool. I didn't know that this was a thing. Apparently there is a interactive pinball museum in Vero Beach. Oh. So if you're interested in uh, checking them out for yourself, you can always go to Vero Beach and check it out. It says like, that they're buying and selling these uh, machines as well. And over in this corner over here, we have a bunch of console games as well. This is awesome. And you know what we're gonna do? We're Mario gonna Kart. we're gonna do the N64 in a good old fashioned Mario Kart. It's a Mario Kart off. And just check out this console, folks. This is really bringing me back. Now, kids, back in my day, you had to plug in your uh, your uh, remote con your controllers. You mean you have to use your hands? Yeah, yeah that's like a baby. It's like a game. baby toy. I know. And uh, again, back in my day, it was fancy if you had one of those wireless controllers. Wireless? I know, wireless. It's pretty crazy. Okay. Are you are you ready to test our relationship out? I think, it's, I think we're on. And see if we can survive All right, it's uh, going on. playing Mario Kart together? Let's do Mario Grand Prix. Uh, 100cc. Okay. Select your character. All right, I'm gonna go with uh, Toad. You're going with Toad? Yeah. Toad. It's a me, a Mario. And you're going with Mario? Good yeah, choice. classic. Yeah. Yep. Good choice. Okay, you're just go go. I don't mushroom. remember how to play. All right. I just realizing I haven't picked mushroom. this up in years. I don't know. I know, right? And right. we didn't have Mario Kart. Okay, hold on. I gotta set this down. All right. So oh, here I don't we go. Know what to tell you. I think if you hold the back button. Maybe. Nope, that's, that's not right. That's, that's not right. right. Oh no, how Just hit forward. Just hit oh, forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. been so long. Uh, there we go. Okay, here we go. Yeah, we're going. Oh my gosh. Oh wait, I'm not on the bottom. Whoops. I'm going the wrong way the whole time. No. I really suck. Alright, I'm on seventh place and you're in eighth place. I'm going backwards. So I'm winning. Like, I forgot like, that you could go backwards like in a, in a I think that I think that, oh mama mia. No. No. I'm in third place. I'm left First one place. in three. I'm, I'm in like eighth it. place. I'm like yelling here. Oh no bananas. No. Oh no, I got a banana too. I looked right at it and got it. And then I wasted my shell. Dang it. Shell, yeah. that I do have, although not the not the big console. I have the portable Nintendo Switch. This one seems to be on uh, some kind of Ninja Turtle game. Some more consoles over here as well. I would name them off, but honestly, I don't know what I'm looking at. 
I'm uh, I'm not even gonna lie to you. Just realized that all of the consoles have a uh, have little placards next to them, so it has some information on what you're playing, and uh, well, yeah, what you're playing, yeah. and some history on it. So there, there you go. I have no excuse anymore. So there is a a Sega and a Famicom here, and an Atari, which I don't know if I've ever even seen in person before, and a Bally. Astrocade. So there you go. I know um, my stepdad is uh, a big fan of um, you know video games and, and consoles and stuff like that. So hope that he's uh, enjoying this footage here, and hopefully you all are as well. All right. Do you, do you think you can win this one, Double Tampa J? Double Dragon on the game. Sega. All right. I don't know I've what I'm doing. Double so. Dragon on NES though. Okay. I've never, I've never played it. the it on Genesis. You might have a master controller. Oh god. Well, you take that then. No, I have a oh, second Oh, no, no, one. okay, okay. Am I even... Oh, okay. Yeah, there you are. Ah! Hit the All bad right. guys. When in doubt, mash the buttons. Who am I? Where am I on the screen? You're the red guy. I'm the red... They're all red. The, that guy. With the... With the mohawk? Okay, I'm the blue guy, you're, the, you're that guy. Okay, with yeah. the little blue beret. Yeah, they, they do kind of look similar. They all look the same. That's pretty much every Sega game. Yeah. <laughs> ah, he's a big guy. He looks like the thing. Yeah, he's... Oh, uh, I died. I died. Alright. Good. Alright, you win. You win. So, I win one and, and you won one. Did I really win? Yeah. Free to play board and card games. See a host to sign out a game. That is awesome. I do see a lot of board games and whatnot over here. Some of it is covered up now, but uh, that would be really cool. Now, I have to admit, the board games and the card games are kind of more my jam than video games. So it's really cool that they've included that. And I've got some pretty neat looking arcade games over here as well. This sign says Tampa Arcade Club. So that's pretty cool. I guess if arcade games are you, oh my gosh, they have PC games here as well. Well, I don't know what a Doom is, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna give it a shot here. New game, yeah. A laptop. This this big boy laptop over here, which is also kind of bringing me back. Okay. Let's see. Space bar. Thank you. Oh, space bar. Okay, we're getting some tips over here. This is. Oh goodness. Oh, uh, you have a mouse too. Look at that! I have a mouse. Oh, this big. Oh, oh. Okay, there we go. That's a hand. I didn't think that was a hand. All right, we're in a. I'm of course doing the classic these keys over here to move. I instantly went for that. World of Warcraft days. You have half an hour to get those final days in until the show floor closes at 11 p.m. Oh my gosh, it's 10.30. It's late. It's late. Wow. This was a lot of fun. I know, right? And it's always good running into our yeah. pals. Yeah. Jacob. Yep, we're all over the place. I'm glad I ran into you guys. Yeah, and you saw Tampa Jay get... I saw Jay get... He instigated it. I did a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Jay's like, oh, it would be funny if I challenged him, and I'm like, go do it! Do, do it, it yeah. right yeah. now! <laughs> Challenge it! I can't believe that went down. Yeah. Oh no, here I comes Billy. To... Oh, Billy. Right. <laughs> let's go. Before we leave, I just wanted to point out, check it out, there's Qbert. The game Qbert right here. I, I've played this before but not on the not on an arcade console but on our computer on our uh, PC at home when I was a kid we had a bunch of old school games like this and um, like Mario and Sonic and whatnot and uh, Qbert was one of them so I played it on the PC have not played it here before but I, I wanted to mention it as well because again the creator of Qbert Warren Davis is here so if you want to meet him 
and check it out. There you go, Free Play Florida. And I think with that, we are going to head out of Free Play Florida. That was a lot of fun. I really, really, really wish I could have got here a bit sooner, but uh, yeah. yeah, technical difficulties, but it all got worked out and uh, had plenty of time to play some games, hang out with pals, celebrate E.T.'s birthday, and uh, beat Tampa Jay's butt at Mario Kart. So That's right. it me. was it was a lot of fun. Okay, once again doing a super awkward intro what? outro. What the only thing a, awkward in is in a that very we're quiet wearing, hallway. We're wearing birthday hats. Yeah, we are wearing. We don't wear these all the way back home to Tampa. I feel like we have to whisper. It's very very quiet in this it hallway. Is quiet. But um, anyway, hopefully you all enjoyed that video. We had a great time here at Free Play Florida. Again, um, as of the time of this video coming out, you will have Saturday and Sunday to enjoy Free Play Florida. Um, so all of their information will be down below for you if you're interested in coming out. Uh, the tickets are, I believe, forty dollars for Saturday, thirty-five mm -hmm. for Sunday, seventy-five um, for all weekend. Yes. Yeah. So, not bad. Oh, and all you can play: video games, pinball, um, all kinds of stuff in there. I honestly had an awesome time. I really did. Did you? I did, and I want to say I am super. Just like I said in my video, I am super proud of the way you handled that situation. That was a tough one. And you said you said you wanted to make a video, and despite what happened to you, you went out and you got that camera. You made it happen, and I'm just um, I'm so sorry that happened, but I'm glad despite the situation, you stayed the course and you created this video. So there's not that's gonna, inspirational. There's not going to be much to deter me from doing the plans that we have planned, especially for something like this where. Our good friends are involved right. with it. Splore and Ryan, Greg from Greg's Game Room, um, involved with uh, with this particular convention. Um, also, we met Brandon, the person Brandon who uh, yes. runs this thing. Super, super nice. Um, so this one meant a lot to me. It means a lot to me. It means a lot to you um, because it means a lot to our our friends as well. So, all that being said, wild horses stomping all over my camera couldn't stop me from coming here. Save the course. It was a stressful situation, but you gotta do what you gotta do, especially for your pals. And it was a lot of fun. Uh, playing video games and whatnot was the perfect way to uh, take my mind off of everything. Beat me in so, Mario Kart. Yeah, that was really fun. <laughs> I enjoyed that. We should play Mario Kart We should get a, a lot uh, more Nintendo often. 64. Yeah. You don't have one? Uh, no, I just have a regular Nintendo. Oh. Okay. Like this one. I'll have to work on that when we are not a Plus lot of night. hundreds of dollars in the Yeah, it might be a little longer now. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay though. It's okay. We'll make do. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Um, sorry again there wasn't a coffee shout out for this one, but I just do just want to say thank you to all the coffee buddies out there and um, all of you who have supported the channel that way because again... It's what made the original camera a thing in the first place, and it's what's gonna help this camera be a thing as well. So shout out to all of you. I'm, I'm hoping to do something special for you guys soon. So um, thank you for that. Make sure you check out Tampa J's video. He had his camera here as well. Thank and you, um, again, shout out to all of our pals, Spawn Ryan, the man who saved our lives Greg from Greg's Game Room, Adam the Woo, Jacob the Carpetbagger. All here tonight. All here tonight. Great news. So, a lot of fun. Okay, thanks all for watching. Bye bye. Bye bye. Everybody. Also, Ryan, if you're watching, we left your birthday present with Greg. He's so going to give it to you So if you don't, today. if you don't receive it, it's Greg's fault. Yeah, and feel better. Or ET's fault. ET may Let's have blame it on e. taken your. He's present. had enough partying tonight. So just so you know. But yeah, feel better, Ryan. We love you, man. Hopefully we'll see you soon. Okay, bye-bye, everybody. Bye -bye.